BMW 7 Series. 1. Overview. An entirely new generation of the 7 Series, long BMW's flagship sedan in the brand's most luxurious and advanced product, has debuted for the 2023 model year. The formula doesn't change much from the current cars, powertrains include a turbocharged inline 6 and a twin turbo V8, with a plug-in hybrid joining the lineup later. On our initial test drive, we found that the 7 Series veritably floats down the road. Its handling is a little lighter than the 2022 cars thanks to some changes to the chassis and suspension, including a new rear-wheel steering system. Its driver assistance tech provides a hands-free driving mode for highway slogs but the car's showstopping feature is an optional 31.3-inch rear. Entertainment display called theater screen that drops from the ceiling and streams TV and movies using the onboard Wi-Fi system. 2. What's new for 2023? The 7 Series has been completely redesigned for the 2023 model year and offers an even plusher cabin, more futuristic technology, and bolder exterior styling. The 740i will run BMW's sweetly silken inline 6 and is offered only with rear-wheel drive. We expect most buyers will find this version more than suitable, but for those wanting all-wheel drive or extra horsepower, there's the 760i X drive, which comes with a twin-turbo V8. If you plan to be chauffeured in your new 7 Series, we'd recommend both the Executive Lounge Package, power-adjustable reclining rear seats with massage, among other luxuries, and the cool 31.3-inch theater screen rear seat entertainment system which can stream content via the car's onboard Wi-Fi hotspot. An all-electric variant called i7 will be based on the same body shell, we review that model separately. 3. Engine, Transmission, and Performance. A 375 HP turbocharged 3.0-liter inline-6 is standard, models with this engine are designated 740i, and is assisted by a 48-volt hybrid system, rear wheel. Drive is the only setup available on this model. BMW estimates that the 740i will run to 60 miles per hour in just 5.0 seconds. The 760i X drive is powered by a 536 HP twin turbocharged 4.4 liter V8 and comes standard with all wheel drive. This engine also uses a 48 volt hybrid system, and BMW claims it will rip to 60 miles per hour in 4.2 seconds. We were able to sample the 760i X drive and noted its silky operation as well as powerful acceleration. The new car comes standard with an air suspension, and BMW has incorporated a rear-wheel steering system and adaptive dampers into the chassis as well. As a result, the new car feels more agile than the outgoing model but remains more focused on comfort than athleticism. 4. Fuel Economy and Real-World MPG Fuel Economy estimates for the 740i are 25 MPG City and 31 MPG Highway but going with the V8-powered and all-wheel drive 760i X drive drops those numbers to 18 MPG City and 26 MPG Highway. When we get a chance to test the 7 Series for ourselves, we'll take it on our 75 MPH Highway Fuel Economy test route and report its results here. For more information about the 7 Series's fuel economy, visit the EPA's website. 5. Interior, Comfort, and Cargo. As the pinnacle of the BMW lineup, the 7 Series brings a cornucopia of luxuries to its occupants. Rich smelling leathers, stainless steel accents, and fancy glass. And wood trim elements give the 7 Series's interior a posh vibe. Buyers can even choose a new cashmere upholstery option, should it suit their personal aesthetic. The deluxe interior now has the technology, style, and opulence to better challenge the Mercedes-Benz S-Class. Passenger space is generous in both the front and rear, but the 7 Series impresses most when equipped with the Executive Lounge Package, which adds power adjustable. Reclining rear seats with massage, a wireless smartphone charging pad for the rear seat area, and adjustable neck cushions on the headrests. The trunk is about as large as you'd expect for a full-size luxury car and a rear seat pass-through offers the ability to haul longer items like skis. 6. Infotainment and Connectivity. The 7 Series uses the same dashboard layout as the XSUV, which has a large digital gauge display mounted under the same glass panel as the infotainment touchscreen. The reconfigurable displays offer crisp resolution and snappy responses. A rear seat entertainment system that BMW calls theater screen is optional. It utilizes a huge 31.3-inch display that deploys from the ceiling of the car. Using an onboard 5G cellular data connection, rear seat riders can stream Netflix or browse the web, 
interacting with the system via touchscreen displays integrated into the door panels. 7. Safety and Driver Assistance Features A host of updated driver assistance features are available, including a new hands-free driving mode for use on the highway and an updated parking. Assistant feature that allows the driver to exit the vehicle and park the car via a smartphone app. For more information about the 7 Series crash test results, visit the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration NHTSA, and Insurance Institute for Highway Safety IIHS, websites. Key safety features are expected to include standard automated emergency braking with pedestrian detection, standard lane departure warning with lane keeping assist, available adaptive cruise control with a semi-autonomous driving mode, 8. Warranty and maintenance coverage. A 3-year or 36,000-mile complementary scheduled maintenance plan, included on every 7 series, is a perk rivals from Audi and Mercedes-Benz don't offer. Both the Volvo S90 and the Genesis G90 match BMW's complementary maintenance plan, but the G90 comes with longer warranty terms. Limited warranty covers 4 years or 50,000 miles. Powertrain warranty covers 4 years or 50,000 miles. Complementary maintenance is covered for 3 years or 36,000 miles, there's no doubt BMW has committed itself to a challenging new design philosophy. Some critics, i.e. virtually all of the internet, seem to think the new 7 series is further proof that BMW has taken leave of its senses, or less pleasant words to that effect. On the move, it kinda works. No, really. In white, with all the shiny bits in gloss black, are fully, erm, murdered out, in matte paint, it's modern and defiantly, unapologetically different. The M Sport Package Pro helps, and adds 21 inches alloy wheels and bigger brakes, 19 inches wheels are standard but undernourished. Think all new cars look the same? Not here, they don't. That huge grille illuminates at night and the upper lights are the focal point, with the option of Swarovski, iconic glow, crystal glass. This face sure is in your face. The low and high beam headlights are recessed into the front apron, adaptive LEDs are standard. The new 7 Series could flood light a Coldplay concert. Oddly enough, it's not the split-level lights and brick-out house front end that bothers us, it's the rear where the new 7 Series loses the courage of its convictions and becomes oddly generic. Which is ironic given the rumpus 2001's E65 iteration caused back in the day. Anyway, we had the chance to ask BMW's CEO Oliver Zips, the man who ultimately signs everything off, what gives. If you want to change design, any step into the future which is perceived to be new will automatically be controversial, he says. There is no such thing as a future-oriented design without controversy. We want to spark discussion about what we're doing. I want controversy. If we don't have it, then you already know it's too easy. Of course, you have to channel it into a decision, you can't just let it fly. BMW says that the new 7 Series was designed from the ground up for particularly demanding target groups in a globalized marketplace. It has greater body rigidity, a wider front and rear track, and it's generally bigger and more purposeful. It uses a new steel and aluminium flexible vehicle architecture engineered from the start to accommodate three different drive types. We'll focus on the i7 here. The X-Drive 60 has a combined 536 bhp from two electric motors, its hardware very similar to the setup in the excellent XSUV. The front motor delivers 255 bhp, the rear 1308 bhp, with 549 pound-feet of torque overall. And nope, that doesn't quite add up. The complete system output depends on all the electric powertrain components and cannot be simply added together, says BMW. The claimed 0 to 62 miles per hour time is 4.7 seconds and the i7's top speed is limited to 149 miles per hour. There's constant progress in terms of powertrain evolution, and we're now up to generation 5 of BMW's electric system. Like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel.